Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're gonna be covering timeline visualizations on ServiceNow. Now here's ServiceNow's documentation on timeline visualizations. It describes them as being used for organizations leaders by creating a timeline that provides visual representation of the organization's operational and strategic activities. So essentially what it does, it creates this 3D, or you have an option for a 2D view of all of the panels that are associated with the table that you select. So say you select project, from there, you can actually categorize it. So say you select like project type um, or state or phase or, or whatever you want to choose. Um, when you select those, you're going to have some different categories at the bottom of your timeline. And then within those categories, you'll have a kind of a cool um, roadmap for all of the different projects, or at least from that example, all the different projects that are associated with each category. You can scroll through the timeline and see, oh, I have five projects coming up on this date. I have five projects two years from now. I have five projects at the end of this year. So it's a cool little roadmap that you can use um, for all the different tables on ServiceNow. Now to go ahead and create a timeline visualization, all you have to do is head over to your all applications menu and head over to plugins and install the timeline visualization plugin. Not sure if there's a cost associated, so you probably want to double check that. After that, there's going to be some roles that you need to assign yourself from the timeline visualization plugin. And after you have all that good stuff done, if you just type in timeline visualization, you'll have these different modules available to you. So let's go ahead and click create new. And from here, let's go ahead and name our timeline. So we'll call it change YT test because we're going to be doing it on the change request table. And relationship field, this is going to be the table that you want to pull in all the panels from, so all the records from. So we'll do change request. Relationship field, that's going to be how you categorize the different panels on your timeline. So for us, we're going to be using the, what should we do? Should we do state? Let's see what the state options are. Um, no, let's not do state. Maybe type? I think type would be better. Let's do type. Yep, so we'll just have standard, normal, and emergency. That looks good. And for our land conditions, we only want to see the active records. Okay, next we'll do panel name. So from here, that's how your panels will display. So usually short description is going to be the best way to um, describe what each panel, uh, the information for each panel. The panel date, that's how it's going to be categorized on the timeline. So if you select created, it's going to group them by the created date. But for us, we'll be doing the planned end date. And default, that's if you want to set it as the default timeline for that associated table. So I don't think we have any, so we could just select default. Um, for this one, we can select. So this is the different panel keys. So we'll probably just do state. And this is pretty neat too, because as we're looking at our different panels, each one will be color coded and you can filter in or filter out. Um, uh, in this case, we'll be able to filter in and filter out different states. Okay, that's pretty much all we have to do. So after that, you could just go ahead and hit save. And from here, we'll go ahead and click view. Okay, and this is the timeline map that I referred to. Now, this is my PDI, so we probably have a lot of really old records. So you can see as I scroll back here, um, we do have a few that ended last month back in May. So if I click on one, it gives me a quick overview of what's associated with that specific change request. So it's pretty neat. Um, also, if you click on settings, you can see that we have our different color codes. So um, if I were to Click on uh, what did I click on? Sorry, I'm kind of clicking around here. If you click on configure, this is actually available to all users. So they could come in here and they could further filter this timeline if they want to. They could change the colors. Um, they could change the panel color key. So it's a nice little tool. And I thought if you click these, it lets you filter these out, but Maybe not, maybe it only works for the type. Because see if you do type, you can click them on and off and it removes them. Um, if you click on this right here, it just takes you to a list view of all the different changes. And if you click on 2D, it just changes the view. It gives you a less pretty view, I guess. <laughs> so this is the 2D view. Looks kind of like the visual task board. And then you would just use the different arrows that are off to your right and left. Or you could use your mouse wheel. 
Okay, let's go back to our 3D view. And you can also use this little scroll at the bottom. You want to kind of really jump through time. Or you could use your mouse wheel again on here, up or down with your mouse wheel. So it's neat. It's a nice little, like I said, a high level overview. It's very helpful for leadership. Um, Cause say leader, leadership, we're, we're going in and they're like uh, looking at projects and you had different project types and, or maybe they've, they're looking at services. Um, well, I don't know if services would be the best because then you'd have a whole bunch of different services over here at the bottom, but they could probably do services for the, um, the key. So maybe services would be good there, but they're like, oh man, we have eight projects coming up for service. Now we don't have the resources for that, you know, cause we have all these different business analysts creating projects for projects they want to work on on service now, but maybe, you know, you don't have the resources for that. So leadership would want insight into that to reach out to those BSAs, those business service analysts and be like, Hey guys, we can't work on this right now. We need to delay some of these projects cause we don't have the resources for it. So, uh, that's an example of, uh, probably the most likely use case for, um, this, this utility. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you all in the next video very soon.